All right, we'll play first to keep. Opponent mulls to six. That's nice. I'm trying to think how I feel about Magmaroth right now. I mean, the disadvantage is actually a pretty solid disadvantage, but is a 4 mana that it gets to attack as a 4-4 probably worth it? I don't know. It absolutely could be. I have, I'm undecided on that as of now. Eternal of Harsh Truth is going to be pretty harsh, too. But... Uh, We'll drop the Magmaroth to try and put the game away a little bit more quickly. I mean, it's it's an interesting card. Beneath the sand. Search your library for basic land, put it on the battlefield tab. Okay, so ramp plus cycle, that's interesting. I guess if you can't find your third land, try and dig for it. Sacred Cat. All right. Land, so we get True Heart Twins now too, which is nice. Efficiency. So Tragic Lesson actually is... What's crazy about Tragic Lesson is if you can't play a land, it's just it's just amazing. Like, we can play Tragic Lesson plus Eternal now. Re I guess regardless if I draw a land or not. But that's pretty cool, actually. I like that card. Open fire is a thing, so let's just uh, let's just tragic lesson now, I guess. You do this, you get that magma mouth back. We're gonna return a land. Let's return this, play it. Let's see, five, ten, thirteen. If I open fire that, still not quite enough. So we'll just wait. It's 14 because this gets another counter, but we're still just going to play the Eternal. Okay, Pouncing Cheetah. If they double block, we get to just Kindled Fury. So this is all fine. This is all well and good. Yeah, this is a punishment. This is a punishment. Kindled Fury is a great card. Fantastic card. Just a great one mana trick, especially in a prowess format. I guess every format is technically a prowess format, but you know what I'm saying. You get what I mean. Alright, so let's just open fire Duder. Let them draw or whatever. And they're dead. Saving Grace. Enchant creature you control. Uh. Uh, delta, wait. All damage that would be dealt this turn to you and permanency control is dealt to enchanted creature instead, and it gets plus zero, plus three. It's only this turn, though? This turn. Okay. Well, in that case, 
I guess I just... Well, do I care about them drawing an extra card? I guess not. Play the Eternal, and then pass. Okay. For the old, the classic play a card concede move my favorite all right green white doesn't really look like a ramp deck i mean we saw some cheap stuff it could still be a ramp deck because they have a ramp card in there but yeah a little bit strange i haven't seen this saving grace before either remember most of these cards are new to me so i apologize but if that bothers you it shouldn't bother you because like i said i really like learning i like learning as i play i don't like to read it i don't like looking at a bunch of cards and then speculating like, it's, it's kind of cool to do, but you never really know until you play them. That's what I've discovered. Because I'm already, like, way surprised by Hour of Eternity. My rating on this when, we, when Sam and I did that review was so much lower. And now that I've played it, I'm like, oh my god, this card's actually pretty legit. Alright, we're going to keep this. Got the, Man the Minotaur. And Into Eternal, that would be fantastic. Can you imagine if they did, like... Ooh, Frilled Sandwell. All right. I was actually going to say uh, First Strike Afflict, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Well, maybe it would actually be pretty good. First Strike Afflict would actually still be pretty good. Oh, no pumps. Well, that's worrisome. What do we got? Feral Prowler. You got it. All right. Unfortunately, the Prowler is pretty good against our Minotaur, but I guess we have Unquenchable Thirst, so maybe that does something. I don't know white mana yet. I guess that's a good sign. Bashing away. Well... At least the uh, Prowler is a good unquenchable thirst target. Okay, not bad, not bad. So let's do this on this dude and then get in for two. Like, granted, they can deal more damage with the Sandwalla, but I feel like the Feral Prowler is, I don't know, more value. I'm more worried about it. I mean, they at least have to put mana into the Sandwalla, whereas the other one's just solid 1-3. They can always rely on sitting back and making me discard so they can draw a card. I mean, oh, so they're green-black now, I guess. So they're three-color, junk colors. Our hand needs some help, by the way. It looked fantastic, but it does need a little help. I guess we're just a land away from some eternal of harsh truth value. Got some harsh truth bombs for us. No more plays. Well, that's good. What do we got? Ooh, well, I need that. Wish it was untapped, but what can you do? All right, we're taking it. We're going to let ourselves get relatively low on life totals here. Which is a wee bit dangerous, admittedly, but... If our opponent's not playing anything, we may need to draw some cards here, you know? 
you know? All right, Eternals out. Eternal is like a strictly better, way strictly better, uh, what's his face? Scroll Thief, which is pretty cool. The Afflict 2 adds a lot. Edifice and Eternal aren't the best synergy together, are they? Well, that's all right. That's all right. Pumping again. How could you have that many cards in your hand and not have a play? That's shocking. Okay, so Hooded Brawler. We can bounce that, draw. See what we want to do after that. Hopefully draw land. Do get the land, so why don't we unsummon first. Take care of that little duder. And then we swing, see what we draw. Firebrand Archer is not bad. So I can, I can actually play the Scribe to get back the Unsummon to deal with the Brawler. It's probably worth it. No play, but you have a hooded brawler though. Well, that's strange. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Let's just get in with the. So it's like pouncing cheetah, I guess. All right, let's just swing like this. Hmm, okay. So they eat our Minotaur. And then we'll play a uh, True Heart Twins. Jeez, four color? What's going on here? Mummy. All right. That is some. That is some bold splashing right there. Plus the brawler, you got it. So I can do the edifice. Plus the firebrand archer too. Ooh, can sign, and I can do the... That's kind of cool, actually. Um, hmm. So, let's see. What's the play I can do here? I guess I can go... That's kind of cool, actually. So, I can attack with twins. Hmm. I can attack with twins, do consign. Let's go. This is interesting. Hmm. All right. Let's just attack with twins. They 
do get to draw, but we need to take care of that anyway. And then I can do scribe, archer plus consign. We do have to deal with that. Hmm. I can bounce two things, though. Hmm. This is a little tough. I can also do the hour to get back a 4-4 four, four first strike, which is actually pretty nasty, too. I still got to do some. I can do edifice, but then I can't sack and do that. This is tough. I'm going to play Firebrand Archer. We're going to leave up Consign. Actually, no, this is fine, actually. Yeah, okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I think. Because we probably, we can still afford to take the mummy. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's actually fine. Exerting there, which does make sense. So we do, <clears throat> we do, uh, double block here, block, here, we can actually afford to take this and still get our unsummon back as well. And go to one. I might be okay with that. Oh, that's interesting. So we'll get our unsummon back. Go to one. That guy's exerted. Return target creature card. Okay. So you get your dude back. Regal Caracol. Well, when you're at one life, that's not a good one. All right. Okay. So, I guess we start taking care of tokens, unfortunately. Are we still dead? So, they're going to have four attackers next turn. We're at one life. I can make it three attackers plus edifice. Actually, I guess we can do unsummon plus reed stalker. Okay. I guess we got to do that then. Okay. Mm. I 
guess we are dead then. Because I can bounce that and play the Reed Stalker. Let's see. Bounce this, Reed Stalker. I can only stop three dudes. Right? Do that. Play this, which I shouldn't play if I can't live anyway, so I guess I can't live. Alright. So we'll go to game three here. Uh, no more sideboarding. I'm good. Uh, alright. Looks like we should probably mulligan that one. This one will keep. I'm pretty unhappy about it, but we'll keep it. I guess Tragic Lesson could help us. Bottom that. Nice. I think we just get the flyer, honestly. Like, we don't get an ability? I'm not sure it matters. I'd rather... I'm fine with just getting a prowess flyer at the moment. And not really worrying about open firing my opponent's face and then putting it on top of my library. It doesn't seem very effective. I feel like the card is a lot more effective later. So we can deal with that guy and then get him for three. Although, yeah, maybe we just play the lizard here. So now if I miss land drops, I can go tragic lesson and still do open fire. I can do that anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. Or wait, can I do that? No, I guess I can't. No attacks. That's fascinating. That's not what I was expecting. Uh, Alright, so let's get in with our Entity here. Oh, perfect. So we'll nuke that dude. Get our prowess on here. And then we can even scribe back our open fire at some point. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, beginning of enchant player's up the player loses three life unless he or she sacrifices an online permit or discards a card. Okay. I can lose some life, I guess. I could actually just discard a card and start bashing in with my Thresher Lizard, but I want to keep my cards for now, so we'll just lose three. Thorned Moloch. Well, Thorned Moloch's a little more aggressive. So maybe we want that instead. Opponent is just fixed for days. With no actual fixing either. It's pretty impressive. I 
Regal Caracol. Well, that's a strong one. Makes things more difficult, doesn't it? Losing three. Slither Blade. So, play is Smash with Entity and Thorn Moloch. I do wish I had a trick here because it would just. Well, I guess. No, this is actually fine. I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Okay. So we tragic lesson. This is fine. Um, so we can return a land. So I don't have to discard. And then we play this. And I guess we get a slither blade out there. All right, I'm going to start discarding now. Although I don't know what I'm discarding, I guess. I'll have to figure that out. Oh yeah, multiple cats, that's right. Cats for days. Alright. Am I ready to lose another three? Go to nine? I kind of am. Because I'm not sure if I draw a land here. Would I rather play the True Heart Twins? I guess that's a question. I'm going to lose three, actually. Okay. Very good. So... I think we just smash here. Well, if I'm not blocking with Lizard, maybe I attack with it, too. That actually makes sense. Oh, yeah, the Cheetah, too. Bummer. Well, that's pretty nice of him to gift us with a block like that. To just gift us. So we'll do this. Oh, it's too bad for us. Why do you do it on that one? That was a mistake. Wait, how does this work? Well, damage will be dealt this turn to you and permanency control is dealt to... Oh, so... Okay, so my guy does die. Okay. Well, bummer. Card's pretty good. So I guess I play this and pass. I'll block the Caracol if they attack with everything. Because then the dudes get weaker. Granted, I take six and I have to discard for the rest of the game, but that seems okay to me, actually. Just attacking there. Interesting. Guess I'll take it then. So we're going to start discarding now. Because our Thresher Lizards turn into big boys. So I guess we'll get rid of the Scribe. We can sack 
non-creature permanents too, or whatever, but that's fine. Okay, so I think we just, well, hmm, that is interesting. Because we got to push damage through. attack with everything. I'm curious. I guess we'll just cast it. We'll just do it in case they want to block. Because if they block, we're doing it anyway. I guess I should have kept my slither blade back. I can sack my slither blade actually, which also seems fine. Yeah, we're just going to sack the slither blade. We can sandbag lands now too, which is nice. Consign. If we consign, we kill them. Cool. So we ended up, ended up going 2-1. Uh, kind of a fun deck to play. I feel like we weren't out of it ever. I mean, we played against... Uh, we almost beat round one, too. So this deck was pretty cool, actually. I kind of want to explore some more of this uh, blue-red in this format. So we'll see how slow it stays. Thanks so much for tuning in, folks. Remember, I'll be back for more. I'm going to learn a lot about this format. So deep breaths, relax. I'll learn a lot. See you then.